Hi, I am Sucharita from Informatica Global Support Team. Today, we are going to discuss about the characteristics in the P360. Uh, agenda for the video is introduction of characteristics, characteristic setup, characteristic mode, key points to remember when working with characteristics, and the demonstration regarding the characteristics. So, characteristics are the alternatives to the attributes. Uh, ideally, characteristics were implemented from the version 8.1. We can have a different data types can be configured using a characteristics like data type called as text, lookups, logical keys, mime value, decimal, etc. They were dynamic in nature and we can change at any point in the runtime in the UI. And it also allows us to create the hierarchies and also parent child relationship in the characteristics also it has a feasibility to create some additional data on items without any need to adjust in the repository or without the restriction to have information on each and every item characteristics can be modified as a direct characteristics like a characteristic and some values uh, with that so once after just by deactivating a characteristic and we can make the changes accordingly and then activate it it is very simple to use and uh, it works almost as similar as the features uh, for the structures how generally we create a features for the structure then assign them to the uh, item then by performing a feature attribute trigger match those features were converted into the attributes at the item or a product entity level in the same way it happens to the characteristics too a category was created and uh, um, under the category we have a specific characteristic uh, further the characteristic has been activated and the category can be activated uh, once after assigning a particular category to the structure all the characteristics which belongs to the specific category can be used for the uh, items or the products under the structure so in this way characteristics are very easy to use and we can perform different operations like import export and merge and also there is a feasibility to copy the characteristic data from one to the other uh, we can also perform import export and updated delete copy options in the characteristics so characteristics and the lower level hierarchies will become visible once the record has been created for the root or a parent characteristic. So there were few important points to remember when working with the characteristics. A category cannot be deleted if it has any characteristics. Uh, so we need to remove the characteristics first then only we can uh, remove the category. So characteristics need to be a part of category and both should be in active state to you in active state to use them in the entity level. So if any of the uh, either the characteristic is inactive or the category is inactive. So we cannot make use of that particular category in under the product or entity level. Characteristics cannot be shared between two categories. So we can create a new category between the two ca characteristics. So to be able to delete a characteristics, first we have to deactivate it and no item or product should be present under the uh, particular product or an item level. So once after removing it, we can delete a characteristic. Only active characteristics can be seen at the item level. To see the maintained characteristics, but uh, we, we without editing it, we have a read-only option found in the characteristics by just enabling it we can have a privilege only to read the particular characteristics at the ui level without having any option to edit the characteristics now we directly jump into the demonstration part to look uh, further how exactly the characteristic works Uh, so in the uh, now we just see how the characteristics were created and how it is assigned so first we need to create a category and uh, the category should be in the active state in order to make use in the product or an item level so once a category has been created we can create a characteristic
and now the data type I'm just taking as text there were different data types exist so once uh, the characteristic has been created it is by default in an active state so where we can make the changes here so this is an important uh, thing to be che checked like uh, we have to take an item or a product whenever we were working with the characteristic so now i'm just taking a product and here we can select the minimum records and the maximum records and it will be performed accordingly if i just choose one and two as a minimum and maximum so the minimum record for the characteristic should be one and the maximum record should be two and also we have a language specific if we just enable this toggle it will be coming that whether the characteristics should be as of english or as a german type and also if we enable the read only toggle so we can make use the customer to have the user or a user group to have a particular um, option like uh, we can make a characteristic to see and we cannot make any edit changes and also we have a validation expression where we can write a simple code here to restrict the data or uh, make the data to be flowed in such a way so now once after having the characteristic just activate a characteristic and now assign this category to any of the structure once assigning this to the structure just go back to the structure test the struct i have assigned to once here we can see the characteristics have come into the picture so here i can see i can give any value so now this has been set to or uh, in the green and so that uh, the characteristic has been working as expected so i have a uh, five important scenarios where the characteristics have been taken in a different format so i just took the price a uh, dollars where it is a text type data type and i have just assigned it to the product and i have just given the minimum record as 2 and maximum as 3 and uh, i just assigned a validation expression a simple validation expression so as per this what it does is if a record level is greater than 99 and then it should be uh, the multiple of 9 so the price should be less than 99 and it should be multiple of 9 if it is not there then it will be throwing an error telling that it should be a multiple of 9 and less than 99 now just i'll just go to that particular and i have uh, just assigned to this particular product so here i have the product here so i gave the values as given but as the multiples of 9 then it is working as expected if i just give the value something of this and it is throwing an error telling the validation expression fail value should be multiple of 9 and less than 90 in this way we can have a different validation rules and also uh, as per the rule i have just gave the min length as 2 and max is 3 so that is why we were having the three important uh, values can be given here if i delete this particular one then it will ask me to create the other one and it is the maximum once i gave the particular value here and it is not allowing me to give any other values and the plus has been not provided here in this way we can restrict our particular characteristic accordingly to the need what we needed in the second scenario i just chose the other characteristic which is an offer and it is a logical value data type where i can give a default values so in this i just assigned it to the product and have a default value as no so once after assigning this to particular characteristic i just assign this to the test struct so once going into the item product classified by test struct so i have an option here i can just change it accordingly and in this way the logical key value can be changed to yes no or no content so the value will be accordingly displayed and you can remove this characteristic at the product level too and the third important category is of a mime characteristic 
mine is something like we can have a image type or a document related to the image can be uploaded to the characteristic and can be seen at the product level so i just assigned a data type has taken as mine and i just assigned it to the same characteristic again uh, sorry same structure again so where we can see the characteristic of uh, mine so here i can add or delete now for now i can upload the characteristic with the uh, image so now uh, i can have the image here i can remove it also so there is a physical location for this mime characteristic in the pim level this we can find in the shared path in the attachments at the last modified date we can get it so this is the image path we can get it from the local uh, also we have a feasibility to remove the unwanted or unused attachments which were not used by enabling a property called as compiler a cleanup job can be done for this so once after enabling this we have to restart the server so we can see that particular characteristic can be removed by the remove absolute mime value a process can be run over this and the unwanted files will be removed so this is an important feature of a mime type now switching back to the last but not the least it is a, a hierarchy model and that is nothing but a parent child characteristic model where i can have any number of childs created under a parent so i just chose offer type and uh, it was of a lookup value so offer type is something i am just giving a sale with a discount sale or a summer sale it is a lookup so this lookup values can be coming from the particular lookups i just gave here a summer sale uh, i gave and uh, activated it and the discount sale so once after enabling it i need to select that particular lookup in this level so deactivate characteristic and just change the different lookups whatever available at the lookup type and uh, we can now i gave the other uh, child characteristic for the parent type and that is sales which is of a discount or a summer sale these were the restrictions so i can make a particular uh, parent uh, it is a, it is somehow a single inherited uh procedure in this way i can have a uh, different uh, restrictions to my uh, sale so once after having this enabled uh, we have other child which was created for this and i gave the same it is also a lookup field which has the uh, different restriction so if i just choose as this as a particular uh restriction and it will be asking for me for the other options like men women and children so basically it is a three level hierarchy to just make use of it in the act uh, to make use of it in the product level i just activated it so in the product level if i just search for the product with that i can see uh, the offer type in the test here yeah. once the test it is asking me for the yeah, discount sale so i just gave us anything i need so if i just choose a summer type and now it is not asking me for this if i just choose for the discount sale and it is asking me for the or summer or discount sale i choose as discount sale again and here it is asking me for the other hierarchy like women men or children and I just... well this is the end of the session please refer to the web user manual for more understanding regarding the characteristics also there were 
so many KB articles from the network portal. Please uh, have a look. We would uh, really love to hear from you. Please reach out at support videos at the rate of informatica.com. Thank you.